Kathy Hutchinson is among the first humans to have her brain directly wired to a computer. Years ago, Kathy suffered a stroke that left her mentally sharp but trapped inside a paralyzed body and unable to speak, locked in like Scott Mackler. Three years ago, Kathy volunteered to have the same kind of sensors we saw in the monkeys implanted in her motor cortex, which controls movement and is located right on the surface of the brain. The sensors connect to the computer through this plug on her head. The system is called BrainGate, and it was created by a team led by Brown University neuroscientist John Donahue. If you look at this square, each one of these little black boxes is the electrical signal coming from one electrode in the brain. And each one of those is a neuron firing. Right. It's its electrical potential. It lets out a one thousandth of a second pulse. How well do we understand this language? We have a somewhat of an understanding. We know that there's a general pattern of, for example, left, right, up, down, even fast or slow. Scott, Kathy now has neural control over that cursor. Dr. Lee Hochberg of Massachusetts General Hospital is leading the clinical trial. We watched together as Kathy showed us what she can do. There's a handful of icons that have been placed on the screen. Here's Google, the New York Times, the Boston Globe, and here's uh, Mass General Hospital Stroke Service. Yep. We're seeing Kathy moving this cursor with nothing but her mind. That's right. She's thinking about the movement of her hand, and uh, she's moving the cursor much, much as if she had her hand on a mouse. So if a patient who's paralyzed thinks, move my left arm, the brain fires those neurons. Yes. Even though the arm does not move. Yes, it's very surprising. It, it fires even though you're not moving. Cursor is still a little bit wavier some days. It's Moving the cursor with her mind is not as fluid or direct as using a mouse. While we were there, the cursor meandered a bit, sometimes overshot. But Kathy always hit her target in the end. You want to uh, play some music? All right. She'll click on it, imagine squeezing her hand, which is the, uh, or doing something else for the click. And she just clicked play. Yep, she did. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. And so, I mean, if Kathy can control a cursor, she can control anything a computer is connected to. That's the goal. The lights, the temperature in the room, even, even a wheelchair at some point. Ready to try it for real? In fact, Kathy has already driven a wheelchair. See if you can drive it right over to the door. They haven't let her ride in it yet for her own safety. But with monkeys adopting robot arms and a completely paralyzed person driving a chair, imagine where this could be headed. Fantastic. Very Great. good. <laughs>